you can customize the way child information is displayed on the screen in this area. By, to do so, you'll double click in the gray background area and you'll get a little customization window that comes up. And from here you can customize a category. A category is like person or child, or if we scroll down a little bit, um, there's a category called additional. Or you can customize the rows. The rows are the basic information that appear on the screen, like uh, date of birth is a row, age is a row, classroom is a row, that type of thing. So let's say we wanted to add a new category called food program. So we click new, type in food program, click OK, and then we can drag that category on. Let's say we wanted to, to appear at the top of the list. So we'd kind of drag it over here until we get that little double arrow sign there. And now we have food program as a category. At the moment, there is no information in that category. Then we can go over to rows and we could add something to it. So this is the child's food program status. I could then drag that row and have it display in the food program category. And there you have it. So easy enough to add a new category or row. You can also remove things. So if there were a reason, maybe I didn't want the child's date of birth to show up on the screen here. I can click on date of birth and I can drag that row back off the screen and now I no longer see it. You can even rearrange uh, different areas of the screen. So if you wanted to move, uh, say, the additional information up, you just kind of, it's kind of a trial and error thing. You kind of move it up a little bit, let go, and now the additional information is now on top of, above the, the basic child information. And then when you're done, you can just close it. So now if I scroll up and down, I've got food program as a category, and then I've rearranged some of the other categories on the screen. If you get to a point where you say, oh, gee, I really don't like that. I want to kind of get back to the way it was to begin with. You can do that from the ProCare home screen. You'll go to Configuration, User. And I should mention that these changes to the layout only affect you as a user. So I'm logged in as myself right now. If somebody else logs in, it wouldn't affect their layout. But if I want to start over again, I can choose Reset Layouts, say Yes. And when I do that, when I go back to Family Data and Accounting now, I'll see the standard layout that uh, comes with the program.